Margaret from Sewing Machine Warehouse in Penrith, Australia. And today I'm going to show you how to put on, sew on, a shanked button. Okay, so a shanked button is one where there doesn't have any holes on top. So here's a couple of different ones. Okay, this is a flat shank. The holes are actually grooved into the back of the button. And this is a proper shank. Okay, so this actually has a, a stand in there. And that's like domed or mushroom type. So I'm going to do a repair on a jumper that I love. And I've lost a button. So you need to clean up any residue that's left from the previous time you sewed it on. So you need to clip all that away. Otherwise you're going to have a lot of bulk there you don't need. And bear in mind you need to know where it was, so just take away most of it. Take some matching thread. Now I only have to sew one button on, so I'll just thread that up with as much thread as I think I need. So we'll say about 40 centimetres of thread doubled, or 20 centimetres doubled. Like so. Now take your thread, or your needle, through where you need to sew your button on, and do that twice. We'll call that a double stitch and that's to anchor your thread. Okay. Now take your button and face it the way you need it to face. Okay, so if it's got lines or a pattern on there, make sure that it's going the right direction. Now take your thread through the hole in the shank and follow it down and then take your needle and take it through to the back of the garment and stabilize that button so pull the thread to make sure you've got it anchored and then from the back Take your needle through on the opposite side and bring it through. Now with this one, I find it's better, instead of putting the point through the hole, to put the back end of the needle which is blunt. Alright, so the, the bit with the thread and take that through, through the hole. of the button and then go down to the wrong side and then back up again keeping that up and down in the same hole if you can in the same two positions so using the back of the needle go through so you're not poking the button with the pointy end of your needle. And do that four times. So you actually have eight strands of thread holding that button on. And this is a lot of the reason why buttons fall off because they only do it twice. Okay, so this is my last go. Now at this point, I actually go round my button on the top of my garment with the thread like that, bring my needle through the loop and then pull once and make sure that that goes underneath your shank and do that again, so 360 around, bring your needle through the loop and then pull, 
Okay, that, that keeps your button standing up. And then take your needle through the hole for the last time to the back. And then bring your needle through those threads once. twice and then three times and then run your thread just through underneath the button and trim the end off there you go so we've Replace a button that was missing. Okay, so that's how you sew a shank button on. Thank you for watching.